What is up YouTube? Special episode this ride along. We are going to put together this metal detector. We're going to go down the beach and we're going to go see if we can find people's wedding rings, money, whatever we can find. Maybe we'll hit up a few thrift shops as well. But uh, metal detecting on a ride along is going to be fucking sweet. Uh, it looks simple enough to put together, but it is me we're talking about, so we've got some headphones. Listen to some fucking tunes while we're fucking metal detecting. I uh, might have batteries. This is a fucking cheap piece of crap. If people look at me like a weirdo while I'm on the beach, it's their own fucking problem. They shouldn't have fucking lost shit so I can find it and make money. Well, I've already got this feeling because I'm six foot three that this ain't going to fucking reach the ground very well, is it? Where the hell's the other pole? Is there another pole? Does this extend? Oh, not yet. This is, what fucking comes out? Oh, this ain't going to reach the ground. It doesn't even fucking go in. Alright, so it doesn't take these batteries. I've got to go buy some batteries. Uh, it's alright, I've got to go to the post office anyway. And these 9 volt batteries, big batteries. I guess so, it can detect gold. Alright, Kelly, I'm going to go find your wedding ring today. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day When you go down to Upshop Town, don't have a dog shit day So ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift away Alright, so I'm gonna go post this bag of shit, my, pill, my lucky pill thunder bag then we're going to post that shit, we're going to get some uh, batteries for this metal detector, then we're going to head down to the beach because it was a nice 40 degree day, it was around 40 degrees, something like that. So everyone on the weekend would have lost their jewellery and money, hopefully we can find some good shit and then we'll go to cash converters and fucking profit.com and if we find nothing. We can't have a dog shit day. We haven't had a dog shit day in a while, so we'll have to go fucking hit up a few thrift shops. So let's see if we find any holy grails at the beach. We gotta try and make money any way you can. You gotta try, and I gotta try and find her a wedding ring, so, you know. And then maybe we'll go fucking throw the fishing line in and uh, try and catch a couple of snapper. Let's be honest, I'm not gonna go fucking fishing. I've used it twice. All right, let's do this. Oh man, this was, this was a fucking bad idea. It was so fucking hot. It was so hot, 40 degrees, but we gave it a crack. We gave it a crack, and we went down to the beach. I had the camera nice and uh, set up on the, uh, on the uh, metal detector there, and uh, off we go to the beach. And this is only a couple of minutes long. I'm not going to bore you with this, because we do go to thrift shops. And, um... Yeah, I was getting lots of beeps, of course, because all the metal railings. Fuck, I really didn't know what I was doing and how to use this fucking thing. So, if people use them, let me know in the comments. But, uh, yeah, it was a good little walk around the beach. I did dig with my feet a lot, and that's when I dropped my fucking camera and got sand in it. But it was beautiful down at the beach. Absolutely beautiful down at the beach. Um, I got a few beeps. I was getting a fair few beeps while I was walking around. But maybe I just don't know how to use the thing or not. And spending a good half an hour down at the beach trying to find... Uh, I really did want to find some uh, jewellery or coins and all that that people would leave behind after a real hot weekend. But this was really turning out to be dog shit and a waste of fucking money buying this, uh, buying this uh, metal detector. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, I do, I do off-camera um, dig holes uh, when I find... Uh, when it beeps... But uh, look at the beach, look at the view, no one's at the uh, beach at the moment and um, it's pretty fucking sweet when you got the beach to yourself. 
But uh, they were all here yesterday. They were all here yesterday, and they were all looking. They were all swimming on the weekend. But um, I was getting, I was getting some real good beeps, and just nothing. I, I don't understand how this fucking thing works. Why is it beeping if there's fucking nothing there? And I wasn't even finding. I didn't even find one coin. Not one friggin' coin. Getting sunburnt like crazy. Didn't slip, slop, and slap. Didn't put any fucking sun cream on. What a dick. What a dumb, stupid prick. But, that's the way it goes. This really fucking sucks. Haven't found shit. It beeps. But there's nothing. It beeps and there's nothing. Look how beautiful the water is, that. I hate this thing. I fucking hate it. Let's go to a thrift shop. This is shit. I wasted all your time. It's beeping, but there's nothing there. I'm gonna put my feet in this water. It's too good to not... It's too good to resist. Oh, it's fucking cold, but it's hot out here. those people just left. Let's see if they fucking dropped anything behind. <laughs> well, I did half an hour. Half an hour and found nothing. Absolutely nothing. And I dropped my camera and got sand in it. Let's go to a thrift shop and wash this fucking sand off my feet. Well, that was a fucking waste of time. A waste of time putting it together. Waste of time buying it. Waste of time on the beach. I found nothing. Ah, uh, off camera, I did dig. I did dig uh, deeper than what you saw with my foot. But fuck, 35 degrees. It was fucking hot. And I think I'm burnt because I forgot to slip, slop, and slap. And I'm just a white boy. All right, we're gonna head to a couple of uh, thrift shops now. I'm fucking couple of thrift shops let's have a little look and see if we can find anything and don't forget this Thursday is show and tell not that we have anything to show and tell at the moment but uh, this week's show and tell we're actually gonna do what's sold in November so uh, this Thursday what's sold in November I'm gonna go through and uh, show you what was in the kitty for the end result of the kitty which thank God Thank God that has actually come up because I don't think I've got anything for show until this week. Because it looks like today could be a dog shit day. And we haven't had a dog shit day for a while, but dog shit days, they do happen. Mate, I should be a fucking parking instructor because that right there, with the cigarette in the hand and all, is precision. That is fucking perfection. Alright, we're just going to do the three local up shops that's all I got time for today really because I wasted my time with that shit otherwise I would have gone to more let's see what we can get fingers crossed we don't have a dog shit day I might even do a little bit of a show and tell so this was really turning out to be a dog shit day so off to the uh, thrift shop the same one where I found all that baby shit and, and I haven't sold any of that baby stuff yet not one not one piece but let's go here again anyway because they've always got some good stuff Ah. Uh, <laughs> PF cassette tapes they wanted fucking five dollars for are you kidding me wasn't even worth a dollar but we always go straight over to the DVDs and the electronics and uh, see if there's any games but once again no games they had a Star Wars book that was uh, from the Phantom Menace look at that big wooden cock um you get splinters in that one girls and uh but same old books um Twilight, if you like Twilight and you want to buy Twilight, this Cluedo uh, game would have been good for a couple of bucks, but it was sticky tape shut and it had already been opened, and I do not want to sell that uh, if it's already been open. That's alright, but it was turning out to be very, very dog shit. Um, very, very dog shit. I did have a look through the clothes and there was nothing good here in the clothes either. I was uh, not having a good day, not having a good day. Feeling the heat. I was actually feeling the heat, and uh, I think I needed to uh, have a drink just to make things better. 
and I tripped and you saw that. Ah, uh, that was dog shit. This is really turning out to be a dog shit day. This is all what you fucking wanted, isn't it? It's all what you fucking wanted. But, but that's all right. I haven't had a dog shit day in a long, long, long time. So let's go have a little look skis through this op shop. You got your little dollies and all your crap there. And I'm not going to look through the women's clothes until my um, my woman, until my missus comes in uh, with me and uh, has a look uh, with me because I don't want to look like a freaking weird little prick uh, looking through women's clothes and and uh, people looking at me weird because I won't know what the fuck I'm looking up. But uh, I did have a look for the clothes and the DVDs and CDs, and I think I've fucking cleared these uh, op shops out. I really do think I've cleared these op shops out. And um, I don't know if it's just me, but uh, comment if you agree. Op shops are either getting overpriced or they're getting a little bit empty because they're getting uh, smashed out before Christmas. Uh, everyone's um, picking. Everyone's picking before Christmas. But uh, the first weekend of the new year everyone's unwanted christmas gifts is the uh i can't wait to fucking i can't wait for that uh these boots i had a little look at these boots no good at all and um those football boots there i couldn't find any listings uh uh for those ones because they were a shitty brand so don't uh, kill me for not grabbing those footy boots because they were not worth anything uh, they weren't worth anything either, those steel caps. And, yeah, I was having a bad day. You know, today has really been a dog shit day. Not my day at all. But you know what? I'm not going to go to the next fucking uh, op shop because I've just got a feeling that it's going to be the same because it seems like I've already fucking... seems like I've already fucking uh, smashed all these fucking op shops in the last couple of weeks. So... I'm going to continue this one tomorrow, which is, of course is the same video. So far it's a dog shit day. This is to be continued right now. Alright, let's try this again because yesterday was dog shit. That was a bad day. It was hot down the beach. It's hot today again. It's 35. Oof. Fuck, it's hot. So another 10 items sold last night. So it's good that I'm going out today anyway. So I've got to go post this shit. My Lucky Pill Thunder bag does not do me wrong. But with Christmas coming up, um, man, trying to get uh, orders out. Trying to get orders out while you're working full time as well. It's going to be so hard. Um, but uh, man, hope everyone can get their shit before Christmas. Hopefully, I'll do a uh, 20 minute drive to a different post office. I'll um, go check out a few of those uh, op shops around there, see if there's anything uh, new that got put in because uh, I haven't been to those ones for about three weeks. So we'll try that. Anyway, enough of me fucking talking shit. Let's go fucking thrift and ride along, take two. Oh, and this week's show and tell, like I said, this week's show and tell, I'm going to show you everything that sold in November. And holy shit, man, I sold over 50 items. Over 50 items. I shit you not. Over 50 items. October was the worst fucking month I've ever had, ever, in selling. Didn't know what was wrong. But I sent at the start of November... 10% off to my whole store to anyone that was watching any of the items and bang 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 it might have been a dollar off every item but who cares we're moving shit we're getting sales it's fucking it's fucking sweet how are your sales this cunt fucking doesn't know how to fucking drive anyway I'm gonna cause an accident talking to the camera let's go thrift all right we only hit one we only hit one thrift shop uh, so of course the next day now uh, one thrift shop because we didn't want it to be a dog shit day video, but uh, it's looking that way. But see that camera there? I do grab that camera, so I do do a bit of a show and tell at the end of this episode because uh, this Thursday's uh, show and tell, I'm going to be showing you what I've sold for November. And we had a fucking awesome November compared to the fucking October. That was horrible. Uh, this Star Trek uh, box set. Um, looked promising, and I looked it up. They wanted five bucks for it, I think it was, or seven bucks, something like that. Um, it looked promising, and I looked it up, and it goes for about 50 bucks, but they put sticky tape all over it. 
And if I tried to peel that sticky tape off, it would have ripped all the cardboard cover off. So that really fucking sucked. They're dickheads when they fucking... They're really... People that work there are really are fucking dickheads. Like, collectors and... People might be collectors and not even resellers. And why would you put... Why would you fucking put sticky tape over fucking shit that's going to rip cardboard? No good games there. You did see that other Doctor Who that I picked up a second ago, but um, the disc was flopping around and it sounded like it was scratching to hell, so fuck that. Heaps of FIFA games if you want some FIFA. Uh, this is them uh, movie. wasn't well, It wasn't even a movie, sorry. That was a PC game. Didn't seem uh, that was worth any money. Um, I was not having any luck. I've, I've, I've destroyed this uh, area. Since last time I came here and got all those Doctor Who's, which freaking uh, did pretty good for me. The toys, the toys were pretty crap. It was all uh, crappy, uh, just it just no good plushes. No, I, I I don't know what's going on. Are people not wanting to donate stuff anymore. You got help us out, would you? Had a look through the clothes. I did spend a little while uh, in there looking through the clothes, but I'm still learning with the clothes. So thanks everyone else, uh, all the other Australian. Uh, reseller channels i don't even need to mention any of you guys names because you know who you are uh, but thanks heaps yeah i did get a uh, jigsaw puzzle there that you can color in oh god if i find a kamal kamal uh kamal he fucks with me there's bet midler uh i don't know why i do it to myself and look through these but um you know you gotta look through you gotta look through because you never know if you're gonna find a good record or not but um it's all the same shit. There's Kamal. Fucking there he is. Back to ruin my fucking day again. Can't have a dog shit day without Kamal there. Alright. Alright. It was a fucking dog shit. Absolute dog shit day today and yesterday. I'm not even going to go to anymore. That was fucked. But I'm going to show you what I got. I got three things. Spent $17, was it $17, $17, alright, so, because I'm doing show and tell this week of what's sold in November, I'll show you these now, then I only got three things, I think I've fucking destroyed all these op shops, so we got this, um, Fuji camera, I paid, uh, Insta camera, we paid eight bucks for this, and we'll get back 50 bucks and they've been selling for $50 and more so pretty cool so that goes towards the kitty 50 bucks and we found this uh, jigsaw this jigsaw puzzle is one of those uh, color in stress ones so when your missus gets fucking stressed out she can uh, fuck off and go do this jigsaw and then she can go fucking and then she can go fucking colour it in and leave you the fuck alone and she can work on this shit. So that was $4 and get 30 bucks for it and they've been selling for $30 plus postage and handling. So 30 bucks right there. And last but not least, I found an AFL jersey, an, uh, an official, an official AFL jersey. This one uh, was $5. It's a training AFL jersey. It's going to take a while to sell because not many people go for this team. <laughs> we've got an Adelaide Crows we've got an Adelaide Crows um, I don't know if you can see that or not hope so Adelaide Crows uh, green green um, jersey that is the training jersey I don't know why they wear green when they train but that's pretty good it's got a crow on there and all that and all that shit so not bad did you see it properly there you go. That'll take a while to sell. Not many Crows fans. Uh, I might... Uh, I might throw in a uh, wooden spoon with it. For 2020. <laughs> Just playing. Uh, I'll get 50 bucks for that. I'll get 50 bucks definitely 100% for that. So... This week on Ride Along, we're going to bring up the kitty. Bring up the kitty. Bring up the kitty. Kitty, 
It's 38 degrees right now and I can't do any more. I can't go on. I can't go on. We spent, kitty, $17 for a return of $130. $130 and that was just from one half an hour off shop today. Yesterday we got nothing with the fucking metal detector and nothing at those op shops. I am roasting in here. This is like, fuck off kitty, fuck off. You fucked up this week. It's the week of Christmas, it's meant to be the week of joy. It's meant to be the week of joy and jolliness. And you bring me this, you bring me fucking this. Be gone, be gone. This is like when children get uh, locked in the car it's uh, it's uh, it shouldn't be, shouldn't leave your children in the car or your animals. This is what happens. They uh, need a smoke at 38 degrees. Smoke. All right, guys, you know it's time to like, subscribe. You know how to do all that shit or do what the fuck you want. Follow uh, all Australian, all Australian uh, YouTubers. Everyone needs to follow each other, get some tips off each other. Today was a dog shit day and it goes in the dog shit day category. Yes, it was an official dog shit day. Kitty pissed me off. I do have an eBay store and I cannot still to this day figure out how to fucking link it. So if you can look up uh, the name of my store, then there you go. Happy days. Follow Instagram. Because Instagram is the go, it's the place to be! Don't forget Thursdays, Thursdays are show and tell. Show and tell on Thursdays, there's show and tell. We only got three items, so I'll just quickly show it and tell you this week. But uh, this Thursday, we're gonna uh, show and tell everything that's sold in November. I think next week, uh, next week's right along, I think I'll do a uh, markets again because uh, I think the uh, thrift shops are getting cleaned out, absolutely cleaned out before Christmas. So we'll do some markets again and I've uh, had some luck with all the toys that I've uh, got from the markets lately. So we'll do that anyway guys. Um, thanks heaps for watching, really do appreciate it. We're getting those subscribers up and cranking. Um, word of advice, don't buy a metal detector unless you know what the fuck you're doing. Trust me, it's worth the advice. Thanks guys, thanks heaps, see you later. See you.